So I've been asked a few times about the story of the Kandahar Giant. So this is a story, you know, believe it, I don't believe it, but I'll just tell the story as it, as it was told by the, the guy who come forward anonymously. So back in 2002, um, a US Army infantry patrol went missing in Kandahar in Afghanistan. They obviously tried to make comms with them on the radio, etc. We can don't know, look. So they um, sent out the Green Berets to uh, try and recover them. So a few days pass and um, they, you know, they've not found any, any telltale signs of where these soldiers are. But they see this um, like goat trail. Um, so they think, right, well, we'll, you know, we'll follow that and, and see what's up there. As they go up this track, they start finding bits of um, military kit, like bits of radio, bits of uniform and stuff like that. Little, little bits of kit, a US military kit. So obviously the, the backs are up now thinking it's potentially an ambush. So they carry on going up, and as they're going up, they start coming across uh, bones and stuff like that. When they get to the top of this goat trail, they come across this um, massive cave. So obviously they're all, you know, in defensive positions because of the equipment and stuff. They think it might be an ambush. So obviously they're all in defensive positions. And anyways, one of the soldiers sees some kind of like, like movement in the cave. Um, he doesn't have time to react or anything. He just, you know, he, he literally just sees something. Anyways, next minute a spear comes flying out and hits the guy in the chest. As this happens, he then runs out, picks up the spear to, to, obviously to, to take it out and use it again. Obviously, the Green Berets open up on him and it's all over in about 30 seconds, obviously. He doesn't have time to, to do anything and, and he's, he's dead. Um, however, the, the, the soldier obviously didn't make it because he had a spear through him. After this, the dust settles, if you like, they don't know what's just happened. They're all a bit like, what the hell has just happened? So obviously they radio it through and say what they've got this, this, this an enemy that they've killed. They don't know what it is, and it's about 12 to 15 foot tall. So the um, two helicopters come, one for the uh, the team and one to, to pick this this thing up. Um, and after that, they, they basically got told it was top secret and had to sign a disclaimer to say they wouldn't talk about it. And they never know, like never ever heard anything since, or whatever happened to to the to the body. Like I say, I'm just telling the story. I'm not saying it's uh, it's it's real. However, I think the guy who gave the statement was called Mister K. If you if you look it up, you'll be able to find his. He he, he tells it in a believable way, though. 